Hey guys, how you all doing? JS Carspears here. Today I'm going to show you around my little MR2 Turbo project. Um, it's a Rev5 Turbo. You've probably seen on Facebook, Instagram and whatnot as well. Um, I'm going to do a few things to it, but rather than waffle on, let's go and check it out. So it's pretty standard. Um, we've got some Volk Racing alloy wheels. We've got 17 on the rear and 16 on the front. Obviously a staggered setup. I'm not sure on the whip as of yet. I'm guessing 8.5J on the back. Probably 8J on the front, possibly, but I will be getting the wheels off at some point, so I will update you all and let you know. And on, on the front here, obviously the Rev 5s, they have all the colour coded lip here, same as the Rev 3s onwards, which is nice. It's got the clear indicators as well, which is handy. Obviously, being an import as well, which is even better. It was imported in 2010 and apparently garaged and looked after from then. However, the paint job isn't the best. But I'll, I'll explain that to you in a minute. I've, I've got some centre caps coming at RD. That's um, centre caps, obviously 60 mil. They'll go in there. They're just um, black and red, so it should uh, go well with the red paintwork. Scuff down there as well, and obviously runs. Really the poor paint job. I don't know if you can see the runs there. However, the, the body work's not too bad from a distance. It looks pretty good. All well, the wheels need refurbing. As you can see here, it's all chipping. I will get all the, ref the wheels refurbed. I'll get them all done in white. Um, probably white anyway. What do you all think? Let me know in the comment section if you can kindly so. If I haven't done them all by then, but however, I still might change them in the future. Um, Rev 5. I've obviously got the Rev 5 rear spoiler, which makes a huge difference, I think, on the MR2. I think the flow of it looks really nice. However, it look, would look better if it didn't have a broken area on it. But there you go. I will be replacing that. Unfortunately, I don't have any in stock at the minute. But I do have a Rev 1, Rev 2 aerial. So I could possibly put something together with that. Um, I've also I've got a crack in my driver's side light. I need the import version, obviously, so it hasn't got the fog light bit in. So if anyone has one of these, please let me know and I'll probably purchase that from you. Uh, also, which is quite, it's got a TRD back box, which I want a full three inch system turbo back. And that means I'll have to get some sort of custom pipe probably made up. So I want to get a full exhaust really. And I might go single exit, I'm not sure yet. Now let's take you on the inside. See the inside I have full lever. Um, it's got a few little cracks and stuff like that. Once upon a time it had some bucket seats probably in Japan. As it's got the ringlets there. Um, it's got some grey roof line in it, which I really don't like. But I've got some black roof lining, which is handy, which I can put in. However, I don't have any more black sun visors. So if anyone's got any of those, if I haven't found them by then, please let me know. And I'll probably buy them off you as well. Uh, we've got a Momo steering wheel, which is quite nice, but I, I think I'm after a um, OMP or something like that. However, I am six foot three, so I don't know if that's going to sort of stick out a bit too much for me in the, in the driving feel of things. I'm not too sure. Uh, so we've got a Defi oil temp gauge here. However, it doesn't work at the minute because the sensor's no good. So that will probably be changed. So that probably will be up for sale at some point because um, I'm going to get some digital display, oil, temp and pressure and probably boost gauge if I can get them small enough to fit in here because the standard boost gauge really doesn't tell you anything. It just tells you if it's boosting or not. It doesn't tell you what pressure. And we've got the anniversary set up seals on here as well, which makes quite a nice tidy, tidy touch. Coming into the engine bay, good thing I like about the turbos is these raised engine vents. I think they're great. I really do like that. Such a nice touch. In the engine bay, this is one thing I'm really happy about. I have a TRD strut brace, which these are very rare. The only thing that's really annoying is where they've done the cheap blowover. They've got all paint on in here. However, I might get this repainted, obviously cover that uh, emblem, logo, badge, whatever you want to call them over so I've still got the TID structure because it's starting to chip there anyway and we've got the HKS dump valve which sounds quite nice 
I'm going to be changing this standard intake pipe down here. I'm going to get a black stony racing or even a red stony racing intake pipe. So I want to get an aftermarket filter so I can get rid of all of this. They're quite restrictive, uh, in my opinion, from what I've read as well and how I've had MR2s before. I think they make a massive difference if you get a nice filter set up in there, more airflow, they sound nicer. And yeah, the, the engine runs much more happier with more F to fuel ratio and the intercooler as well. I don't know if you can see down there, but obviously they're really thin. So the larger intercoolers, they're probably about four inches wide, maybe five inches. So they make a massive difference. Uh, with the air filter, let's open up the boot for you because I have my new filter. However, I don't have my intake pipe just yet. Here is the air filter, quite large as you can see. That will be fitting obviously down there, tucked down there. I will be getting a duct pipe which flows obviously just up there, which goes to the air intake up there. So hopefully that goes to the side of the filter. More airflow. I'm gonna try and box it off somehow if I can get that somehow made and then go from there. Got a TRD red cap as well. I will be cleaning this engine bay up as it's a bit untidy. Obviously, if you're going to jet wash it, which I probably will, obviously cover all the electrical components because once they get wet, it can be a disaster. Um, other than that, engine-wise, apart from them mods just there in the exhaust three inch through, I'll probably be running the boost pressure at probably 1.1 bar, which should give me around 300-ish horsepower at a, at a guess. So hopefully, that will be... Um, more than enough power for now and then I can concentrate on things like the bodywork like the, these little things here it, it needs a full respray really but it, it looks good from from a distance it's had the arches rolled previously which is lovely obviously that makes the wheels not scrub and the tyres are getting a little bit old however they've still got good tread which is good and they're running yokos all round nice and grippy which is always good so there is my MR2 guys, uh, lots and lots of things to do to it yet, I've got um, handling mods I want to do, I've got a bigger front anti roll bar which I will fit, I'm going to paint the calipers just black so I want it quite tidy, um, I'm going to get some coilovers as well, because coilovers will make it handle a lot better, um, it's much better than the standard suspension, it's currently knocking, which is frustrating and when you come down here, I'm basing a farm, um, so yeah. There it is. Due to my little mate, Buzz. You gonna be sociable today? How you doing? Say hello to YouTube. This is my little buddy, Buzz. He comes down here every single day with me. I'll try and take him for a walk as well when I'm here. Don't we, Buzz, eh? Hey? Say hello to everyone. Good boy. Yeah, that's Buzz. Come free with every single order at JS Car Spares which is obviously very nice. Uh, these are my new little business cards as well, which I've just had done, which I really like. Um, yeah, so order some stuff from me, get some Haribo, get some good parts, everyone's happy. Boom. So that's me and Buzz done for the day. Thank God, hey Buzz. You getting hungry? You hungry? Bring your dinner. Well, he wants his dinner. So that's it from me and Buzz today. See you later.